Good morning. This is Mary Linden and I laid in bed this morning and I had this great idea about starting a um, a time of uh, being together with with people that will soon be friends and calling it Mornings with Mary. Um, I have two two great passions. One of them is self-esteem for women and aging women and I also have a passion for health and energy. So, I have, and, and I've worked for the longest time in my mind of how to put these two concepts together somehow. How to link um, the self-esteem issue with um, actually the the lifestyle of eating well and using essential oils, linking those together. And you know, I just haven't been able to come across, I don't know why, but I haven't. But this morning, as I laid in bed, it just came over me. I mean, it, it just filled every single cell in my body with excitement and I knew I had to get up. I told my husband I have to get up and write down this idea. And that, what brought that to mind, I'm going to pour some water here. Every morning I start my morning off with like two, well, I fill this, this thing up. I found this in Florida and it cost me a dollar. My friend and I were on our way to play bingo, which <laughs> every time I go to Florida I love to play bingo. The jackpots are big and it's just, you know, my heart beats out of my chest and, you know, I'm always thinking I'm going to win and then somebody else yells bingo and I get mad and I go through it every time. Anyway, <clears throat> I bought this to bring water with me to bingo and I loved it. It cost me a dollar, but I brought it home on the plane. I made sure I had room because I, I just absolutely loved it. I wished I had bought a few more. But anyway, so I, um, I fill this up because this is... They say you should drink half your weight in, in um, ounces in water, and so <clears throat> this is a really, this is a lot of water. It helps flush me out in the morning. I add lemon essential oil to it, and it's uh, detoxing, and it's cleansing. It makes me feel really good. Citrus oils make you feel really good. Um, so I'll be going to be drinking this. And then right here is the, um, I'm going to go over some oils that I love. But this is the, the lemon essential oil. And I only use doTERRA oils because they're the purest, <clears throat> safest. The only thing that's in these oils is oil uh, from whatever plant or fruit is um, on the bottle. So that's the lemon that I use. And it, you know, just the smell of it, because of course, even though you're drinking it, it's lemon, you know, it just makes you feel good. And when you first wake up in the morning, you've been sleeping all night long and you're a little dehydrated. And it's known that when you put lemon in your water, you absorb it better. And then there's other properties with lemon essential oil that you're getting. Um, they even help boost your mood. And so that's that's a great way to start the day. So anyway, I was laying there and um, these feelings of wanting to help other people, specifically women, because I'm a woman and I understand women, um, with their thoughts and with their help, it just it just fills my soul. And so I, I'm starting this right away. I am not. I'm not going to let this get, um, even though the lighting is wrong, I think I can see like every single wrinkle in my face and I'm not looking in the right place. Um, I'm going to just do it and get it out there and start it. And so this is for anyone who wants to start the day with somebody and wants to start the day on a good foot. Um, and I'm going to make these some of them can be brief, <clears throat> some might be lengthy, you can pick and choose, you can um, listen or not, 
<laughs> but we're going to be together every morning, and I'm looking forward to it. Um, this whole idea of getting an idea and acting on it. Um, I don't know if you've ever written, uh, written, uh, read this book, Big Magic. It's by Elizabeth Gilbert, and she talks about ideas. Um, she says she explains ideas that they are a that they are a disembodied energetic life form. They are completely separate from us, but capable of interacting with us. So they're like these living entities that kind of float around, and, and they're looking for somebody to land on, basically. Um, and this idea, when it came to me, I didn't want to lose it. And if I don't act on it and use it and develop it, it might just leave my soul and land on somebody else. And and when an, when an idea lands on you to begin with, it's because there's a connection there. There's a vibration that says you can you can land on me, and there's um, soil here to grow. I mean, we can become a manifestation together, and that is that whole idea. So, when you're when when some big idea lands on you, and I'm going to read a little bit on on this so you understand, um, and you get excited about it, and it fills your soul then, oh my gosh, you need to act on it because it's, it's, it's such an opportunity for you because it's a match with who you are. So anyway, this is a big match for who I am because I have um, lived most of my, I'm 64, I've lived most of my life letting people manipulate me. I'm a big people pleaser. I still am a people pleaser, but I'm a healthy people pleaser. I used to sort of sell my soul for, you know, just um, getting along or uh, being part of the crowd. Uh, you know, I can I can think of, especially like from junior high up, um, trying to be with the wrong kids and just attaching myself to people who um, I would always make their life... Uh, like, I would, I would, whatever made their life better, I was there for them. Um, but it wasn't me, necessarily. And I, I don't want to go into a whole lot of specifics, but there is a trend, uh, there's an attraction for manipulators and for people pleasers. They kind of um, attract each other. One's a user, one's a giver. They get along really well together, and I just got so tired of that. I could, I would know people were taking advantage of me, but I still let them do it because I wanted to belong. You know, I wanted to be have that friend or whatever that thing was. So, um, this is so terribly unhealthy. Um, so I want to help people know that who they actually are is perfectly okay. If you're with somebody who's toxic or who you really don't get along with, you don't really even like, it's perfectly okay to say, no, I don't want to do that. No, I don't think that's funny. Um, no, I don't want to go there. I don't. No, I don't like this kind of food. Bear. Bear, bear. I have my dogs on my bed with me and it's going to knock my phone over. Hey. Um, anyway. So I have a real passion for, for helping people, like, get on with their life, you know, be who they are, see who they're about, you know, experience what their strengths are, expand, be who you are, and love yourself, respect yourself enough to live your life, your way, your passion, you know, be you, and it can be absolutely wonderful and it doesn't matter who the you is you could be nerdy you could be funny you could be eccentric you could be I don't know but it's who you are so grow from the seed of who you are be your own plant you know be a tall mighty strong tree or be a beautiful 
slender little flower or be a reed of grass or I don't know just anything but but you we won't know who you are unless you grow yourself don't grow somebody else and if somebody wants to take advantage of you for their own growth screw them that's terrible to do to somebody I mean and it doesn't matter how old you are look at me I'm 64 I have actually just started this independent journey probably since I was 50 I was in a well I don't want to go into my history but anyway I'll, I'll, I will eventually because we're going to have a lifetime together in the mornings anyway I want to just um, talk about this sense of the idea because it is so awesome um, so she talks about ideas and how she agrees or we actually when an idea hits us we actually kind of agree to enter in a contract with that idea um, it's like it's like we're shaking hands and we're saying okay you can come to me and I I will um, live you know work with you and we'll get this thing done um, she talks about how she had this awesome idea of writing this novel and it filled her soul and she and she talks about the details of how she this novel and how it came to be in the characters and I mean all the details of it and she started this great novel and she sent it off the publishers bought it they were gonna get going on it she needed a final draft and so forth and in the meantime she had some personal issues in her life she had to take care of and um, she had to like pack up her things and move abroad and it was a relationship thing and so she put her novel away for a couple of years she came back to it once her life settled down and there was no fire left she she tried writing it she talks about how it was like poking a stick at a at a um you know how snakes shed their skin poking a stick at that skin and having it the more you poked at it the more it would just crumble to the you know and dissolve there was just nothing there and she realized that the idea that what that that filled her soul had left and then down the road she ends up meeting this woman who's they become like really close friends and this woman tells her about this book she's writing and my god it is exactly this other woman's novel I mean crazy details it's all about being down in the Amazon and building a bridge and, you know, and just, I mean, it's like weird stuff that isn't typical. Not a typical love story, you know, not a, not, nothing. I, I mean, it was just unbelievable. Character names were different. The theme was right dead on. And this woman was just like goosebumped, like, oh my God, that's my book. And have you ever read, have you ever, I mean, we all have, and we ourselves have, but you know, when you... Um, meet somebody and they say, "Oh, I had this great invention, and you know, I, I and I and I didn't do it, but that guy stole my idea, because he's. I see this on the store shelves, but that was my idea. I thought of it first. You know, I remember years and years ago, I met this older man, and he talked about this wagon that he that he had invented in his mind, and never did anything about it." But then one day saw it on the shelves and it, it ticked him off because he's like, I thought of that. Well, you know what? That idea, and, and I get this, and, and whether this is absolutely true or not, I'm going to believe it is because it makes sense to me. That idea said, hey, man, come on, let's go. I want to, you know, we got, I got to find somebody who's going to get this thing going. And the man just kind of piddled around and didn't really intend or was taking too long so the idea left him and went to some someone else now maybe ideas can hang around longer who knows but when I felt this idea this morning for mornings with Mary and that was the other thing I always I've, I have this great name it's Mary M-E-R-R-Y it's I was born in December my mother named me she spelled it that way and I've always felt I wanted to use that somehow some way in my title for, for either the oils or the health or the self-esteem. And I just didn't know. I just didn't know. 
mornings with Mary. It's just, it's like everything clicked together this morning and I'm going with it. I'm not going to, you know, try to think about it too long. That's why I'm jumping on. I haven't put my makeup on. I splash cold water on my face, brush my hair a little bit, brush my teeth and back in and laying. I'm sitting in my bed. My dogs are on my bed with me. Oh, and it feels great. And I love it. I feel good. So anyway, I'm just going to very quickly read this. It's so cool. Um, she talks about ideas um, that they're driven by a single impulse uh, to be made manifest. And the only way an idea can be made manifest in our world is through collaboration with a human partner. So here's this idea floating around. She says, ideas spend eternity swirling around us, searching for available and willing human partners. And she's talking about all ideas, all ideas here, artistic, scientific, religious, and no matter what. When an idea thinks it has found somebody, say, you, you might be able to bring it into the world. The idea will pay you a visit. It will try to get your attention. Mostly you will not notice. This is likely because you're so consumed by your own dramas, anxieties, distractions, insecurities, and duties that you aren't receptive to inspiration. You might miss the single, the signal because you're watching TV, shopping, brooding over how angry you are at somebody, or pondering your failures and mistakes, or just generally really busy. The idea will try to wave you down, perhaps for a few moments, perhaps for a few months, for a few months, perhaps even for a few years, but when it finally realizes that you're oblivious to its message, it will move on to somebody else. But sometimes, rarely, but magnificently, there comes a day when you're open and relaxed enough to actually receive something. Your defenses might slacken and your anxieties might ease, and then magic can slip through. The idea, sensing your openness, will start to do its work on you. It will send the universal physical and emotional signals of inspiration the chills up the arms, the hair standing up on the back of your neck, the nervous stomach, the buzzy thoughts, the feeling of falling in love or obsession. The idea will organize co uh, coincid coincidences to tumble across your path to keep your interest keen. You will start to notice all sorts of signs pointing you toward the idea. Everything you see and touch and do will remind you of the idea. The idea will wake you up in the middle of the night and distract you from everyday routine. The idea will not leave you alone until it has your fullest attention. And then, in a quiet moment, it will ask, Do you want to work with me? And at this point, you have two options for how to respond. And of course, that would be yes or no. And she goes into it. It's an awesome book. Big magic. Um, and I'm going to share some books that I love. Because I'm drawn to books that help us, help us think better, live better. You know, all everything in our life, all of our realities is our perception of our life. Our minds are terribly strong, and um, I'm going to help you and me learn to use our minds better so that we can conduct our days with greater happiness, um, live our lives fuller, live our lives how we want to live our lives. Uh, we don't have to even necessarily like each other to learn together you know and to and to grow is however in whatever direction we need to grow um, because we will have that in common that we self-respect and allowing other people to be whoever they are so just before I end here um, one way I, I love to start my day and like especially days where I'm maybe not feeling quite so awake right away. Um, I'm go I love peppermint essential oil. And this isn't a roller bottle. And oh my God. All you have to do is inhale this deeply and it just fills your whole body with like this mentholated wake up feeling. And so I like to put some um, just around my, on my neck like that. I, sometimes I put them on my, my wrists. But my God, just that little bit right there. I can, it just adds like this breathable peace and, and it just feels wonderful. And my dogs are right here and they're getting the benefit of smelling it too. You want to come say hi, Bear? Come here. Come say hi. Um, and then another one I love to put on is Motivate. 
and this is a blend and this one smells like butter mint but those little butter mints at Christmas it has peppermint in it but it has other oils like orange and um, there's a list of them that it, it just it, it gives you this sense of like feeling good it, it's citrus oils do lift the, the um, mood and just all you have to do is inhale it. That's actually the, the most potent sense that we have is our sense of smell. So just inhaling does the trick. But you know, I might, I love the smell, so I might put some on my temples. And then lastly, before I leave, um, frankincense is the king of all oils. Frankincense is um, a cellular uh, it, it oxidizes our cells and it's the the best oil for cellular health so I'll put a, a drop under my tongue mm. and it's not really my favorite I'm getting used to it the more I do it it's a little floral it's the best word I can describe but it you know it's so magical and so good for us to, to start um, our day with frankincense because I'm all about, as I get older, feeling healthier. I, I just, I just want to be a fully healthy, happy person. And, and, and as I age, I don't want that to become an issue. So I wanted to share these things with you. So good morning, and I hope that you have this day ahead. I hope that you will come back and... Um, start your mornings with me some like I say sometimes they'll be fast sometimes they'll be lengthy today's was a little lengthy because I wanted to explain why I'm doing this you know already I can feel that frankincense I can like feel um, it's almost like a warmth and it's like a peaceful feeling and uh, frankincense is great for anxiety by the way super great it's also great for your skin it's great for everything but that under the tongue I'm telling you, and it doesn't last that long. Like I'm gonna drink my water, and then I I, I drink coffee. I, I stop for a while, but I'm drinking it again. I just I just love that. And and another reason I pour that water that I was I showed you into this glass is because I love the feel of a glass. I I I think that everything we do, if if we possibly can, should be with things that we like. It should be things. Like, I love the shape of this glass. I love drinking out of it. It's easy to drink from, um, better than a plastic cup or something. I mean, or, or if you have a fancy wine glass or something, drink out of that. Treat yourself, make yourself feel good. All these little things, they really add up. And we'll talk about more about that later. But for now, I'm happy to be together, I really am. And I'm gonna come up with some kind of closing little thing I'll say every time that'll help us to carry it through the day. So for now, start your day with water. Start your day with good thoughts. If you have essential oils, use them, but make sure they're good ones. Okay? All right. Next time.